It is now time. We would like to start Hitachi IR Day 2019. First, President and CEO Toshiaki Higashihara will make a few remarks. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for coming to Hitachi IR Day 2019. First, on May 10th, we made an announcement about the direction of 2021 midterm management plan, and I visited the investors around the world getting their views and feedback. Generally speaking, 2021 midterm management plan operating margin 8% has been achieved. As for 2018, we have been given credit for the achievement for 2018, but they said that they want to know more concretely about 2021 midterm management plan, and they have a lot of expectations for Lumada. So based on that, what I'd like to do is, as much as possible, we want to give you quantitative information. First, May 10th, we made an announcement of the midterm management plan. Let me go over them. Towards 2021 midterm management plan in social innovation business, we want to become a global leader. Being a global leader means it's not doesn't mean that we will be following our competitors. We will paint the future of social innovation business. That's what we mean by becoming a global leader. Now, social values, environmental values, and economic values will be given focus in our business. We have so much uncertainty. We want to go back to our origin. Our position must be made clear. Hitachi was founded in 1910. Namihei Odaira, the founder, said that excellent technology and products would be developed to make a contribution to the society. That is the philosophy of Hitachi. Recently, we hear about SDGs and Society 5.0. Social values, environmental values, we are the ones to promote these values. So these three values would be given focus in our business management. Now, focus areas. We will be making aggressive investment in select focused areas between 2 trillion to 2.5 trillion yen. I will give you more details later on about the kind of investment that we will be making. Next, in terms of strengthening the corporate management system, adjusted operating income ratio of 10% plus. We tended to focus on such numbers, but going forward, we will be focusing on capital efficiency, ROIC. ROIC is going to be the KPI that we will be introducing. So these are the four points that I covered on the 10th of May. Now let me go into the content. 2021 midterm management plan. In these five areas, we will be offering social values, environmental values, and economic values. Making use of Lumada, Hitachi Group as a whole will be offering these three values so that, they, so that in the end, people's quality of life would be improved or our corporate customers' corporate values would be enhanced. That is going to be our main footing in our business management. Now, in each sector, after my talk, five sectors, people responsible will explain what the strategies are, IT sector, will have to be globalized more. Lumada has to be spread more. So this is considered one of our more strategic investment area. North America and APAC will be the focus regions. As for energy, 
ABB Power Grid has been acquired. Towards global growth, we will be making preparations further. In the industry sector, Salgair and JR Automation Robotics Autom Autom Optimization Company has been acquired. This is also our focus investment area, mainly in North America. The business will be run. And Smart Life, home electronics as well as auto parts and healthcare will be covered in this sector. We still have to do more structural reform. So 2019 will be the, air, the year for improvement of profitability, restructuring, and to concretize future growth strategy. That is what 2019 will be about for smart life and mobility. And Salto STS, the equities have been acquired 100%. Yuntai elevator related business we are planning to acquire. Based on that, we will be promoting our global strategy. Once that becomes more concrete, we may need to make additional investments, but that is the direction that we are contemplating for these five sectors. Now, let me be more concrete about the content of our investment. In the 2018 midterm management plan, capex and shareholder return and investment for growth. This is how it looked. R&D investment was 1 trillion yen. So that is what it looked like for the three-year period. Now, in 2021 midterm management plan, R&D investment will be increased. And at the same time, investment for growth will be between 2 to 2.5 trillion yen. And the funding resources, operating cash flows, there's going to be more than 2.5 trillion yen to be earned for in 2018, operating cash flow was about 2 trillion yen. That is going to be raised to 2.5 trillion yen, and the remainder will be debt or asset sales. So that 4 to 4.5 trillion yen will be secured as the funding sources for these investments. Now, in 2021, in each sector, these are the target numbers. Growth rate is going to be over 3%, adjusted operating income ratio over 10%, and ROIC is going to be over 10%. These are the targets, IT, energy, industry, smart life, mobility in each of the sectors. At the end of the 2021 management, midterm management plan, these are the numbers that we aim to achieve. And today, in each of the sectors, we have the speakers who are responsible for each sector to give you a briefing. And lastly, there is going to be a session for a wrap-up and Q&A. Our CFO, Mr. Nishiyama, will be taking your questions. So that is the schedule for today's program. Hitachi, social values, environmental values, and economic values. By making use of Lumada, we will be offering these values. That is what we intend to do. In the end, we want to contribute to enhancement of the quality of life of people and to enhance corporate value of our customers. We want people to associate social innovation with Hitachi. That is the kind of company that we want to be in 2021 midterm, midterm management plan. Powering good is our slogan. We seek your support. And with this, I would like to close my opening remarks. Thank you very much indeed for your attendance.